Hey guys, welcome. Thanatos here. Um, welcome to my first video about uh, Illuvion, which is currently in in private beta. Um, I I kept waiting for it until I pretty much provide can just play it and uh, provide you some content and just take you guys along with me. Um, if in case you may not know about Illuvium, um, it is an auto battler similar to uh, Teamfight Tactics, um, and it is an uh, it is going to be a blockchain game, um, but mainly um, I'm here for the gameplay, um, which is uh, currently the ranked PvP. And uh, I'm definitely not a not an expert in uh, in this genre, um, but so far I did a few matches and um, I like it a lot. Um, and I still have a lot to learn. And I just wanted to take you guys um, along on my journey here. Um, <coughs> I'm using an uh, Invoker build and yeah um let's just jump into a match and see how we can do with it like i said i have made um a couple of matches already i'm currently um at 1600 elo which isn't that much but also not that bad i think <coughs> um the highest players or rank one players are around um 2200 i think so still a lot to go <laughs> but yeah um let's see how we can do oh this is against an 1800 player uh let's see how we can fare against him uh it looks like it might be a pretty good counter against me with all these air illuvials that get hyper active pretty quickly against all of my um all of my uh water uh little ball box uh i think i can just split up these two because they're both pretty good for my team <coughs> let's see ah he preferred that one okay it's fine so the idea is that uh, we are able to place our monsters called Illuvials in each of the rounds and uh, see um, which one can then uh, prevail at the end. Uh, this guy is running a toxic uh, s s turn one, which is pretty much unbeatable for my team. Um, but I can at least try to mitigate the damage if I put in my uh, Atlas here and use the 70 cost weapon and try to take out their Ranger just to reduce the damage I can take I will take hopefully <coughs> That's the most I can do basically Um yeah, the, the game is currently in, in private beta and the open beta is actually planned to be um, either in uh, Q1 or uh, in the beginning of Q2, so expecting it to be um, around <coughs> April or May, hopefully. Um, I've been waiting a lot for such a long time to actually um, be able to play it fully, but yeah let's see so now i can put in my big boy the Ophisto. um and also uh, remove that weapon in order to be able to get in my um 
other two little bulwarks and also bond my ranger to get the shock to get the shock affinity uh, which as you can see each shock unit on the board calls lightning to strike the lowest energy resist enemy for every four seconds so which is typically the um, ranger um, I probably won't be able to win this round either invokers actually really start to get going starting at around round four so <laughs> the primary goal is to survive basically until round four and then we can really see that the damage is gonna come up but uh, we are even able to beat him this turn which is really amazing so um, yeah let's just continue putting our um, Illuvials down. Um, the main focus is actually getting our guys on the board um, as soon as possible and not bother about um, <coughs> not bother with like augments and stuff uh, till basically round five. Um, so I think Goliath makes sense around uh, around here probably and then I can put my ranger just in a safer spot uh, yeah C4 and um, Goliath basically provide me the um, granite affinity uh, which gives which gives them uh, invulnerable for uh, for four seconds and some more resistances but of course my main damage dealers are my invokers um, <coughs> but this this round doesn't look that good I mean you can at least mitigate some damage hopefully yeah it's it's fine I guess Let's see what we have for the legendary augments. I think the sapping hex is not that it's pretty strong against my team as well as this one, so I will try to deny the sapping hex for sure. I don't think this vengeful smite is that great for either of us. Um but the sapping hex can really put in some work against me that's why yeah we were successfully denying that which is good so let's put in our synalf on this corner here and then uh, also the our last unit to get basically the five bulwark and five water synergies and uh, and of course the four invokers synergy um, which makes all invokers gain <coughs> more damage um, with each cast so they are basically buffing each other with each cast so if we get them uh, to cast twice or something that would be amazing but unfortunately the opponent is actually running with air which uh, as you can see uh, makes us need more energy to cast um, yeah which is a pretty good counter against invokers unfortunately um, but yeah we need to mitigate that as best as possible especially this this guy here the rogue familiar really put in some work um, but it isn't that bad honestly maybe we can do some better positioning and get in some augments to fix this a little let's see definitely gonna put my ranger away from that uh, from the rogue there and also Uh, we can put in the 
Vitality Veils, which are pretty good on Invokers. <coughs> and this one is also amazing, actually. Um, just trying to think on which Invoker it would make sense to put it on. Uh, well, probably on on Sephora's, and then we will give Indomitable to him and to him, and see how we can move on from here. Yeah, he's really trying to reduce my energy as much as possible with all these uh, less energy gain augments he has there. Which is pretty bad for me, but... Yeah, I'm getting pretty hard countered, honestly. Um, Not, yeah. Uh, he got me pretty good, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think I'm not sure if I could have done it differently, honestly. But let's see in the second match. Mapsy. Oh, it's basically a mirror match. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. Those mirrors are always, uh, yeah, kinda difficult to play out. Um, but let's see how this we can uh, how this can go. Well, generally, in mirror matches, it probably would make more sense to go for the ramp fire, which he probably also will do. Um, but I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, let's just put in our three bulwarks and our fire weapon and start it from here and then we will definitely go for our ram fire because a uh, ram fire is pretty good against invokers and <laughs> he will definitely I, I assume he will do the same and then we just need to see um, it's pretty much going about the positionings then. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, we probably. <coughs> I don't know if we can win this. Um, our ranger is gonna die now, which is unfortunate. So he will basically be able to win with. Now, uh, unfortunately, Karabu also alive, so I took more damage than I should, which is always not that great. But <coughs> we just need to continue as best as possible. So why don't we? Go ahead and just shotgun our ram fire and go for the inferno. Um, let's put it a little bit here. Yeah, let's just do this. So the ram fire is basically the one which jumps to the backside of the opponent as a rogue. 
and um, does uh, immense uh, AOE. Um, and after the cast, it, the Inferno is basically doing um, a da uh, like 65 damage every second, uh, which is pretty huge um, considering that the Invokers don't have um, a very big health pool. So as you can see, we got this round because he was actually going for the Ophisto instead of um, instead of the Ramfire, which is fine by me. Um, so in this case, we can go ahead and uh, put in our Seed Forest and also our Synalf in order to get our Invokers also started and use our Ranger in the, on this side to catch maybe their, um, their Synalf or another Invoker when maybe pl placed in the corner there. <coughs> Let's see. Ah, there is uh, his second invoker. So, um, so hopefully our ramfire will actually finish off the yeah, finish off the Ophisto and then it's pretty much our win because he's just lacking the damage output there. Nice. Uh, let's see, Granite Affinity Chip is, def is definitely something to consider, so we can one bet this one, and then um, uh, I'm not sure if this is something which can be usable with Ramfire, I haven't tried it so far, but let's give it a try, and then uh, let's just two bet these, I don't know. Not really sure. Like, I think I don't need these. Need two better that. Ah, okay. I well, we got we got the granite chip, which is, um, which can be pretty useful. Um, so now we can put in our client, <coughs> and also our hydrolinks. So now we have all the all our illuminates placed, and I think I will just switch up my line here with the ranger just to avoid getting hit by the Sephoris right away. Um, well, he put all he he clumped up all of his illusions pretty much on the AOE from my ramfire, which is definitely something which can uh, be beneficial for us. So let's see. So there goes the Ophisto. One more card from the Sea Forest, and great, we got the. We got the win there, 75, okay, that is, that is unfortunate, but let's just continue like that. I think unless he really like switches up to his own Ramfire, we might just uh, win it from here. I will just equip the better weapon and also this one, then we can, I'm just thinking of in adding the granite on my ramfire just to make it more bulky and get the invulnerable and then also the uh, and then We can also give him the. Well, the let's give the vitality veil on my Sea Forest. 
and next turn, if there's a next turn, I will give my Ramfire the, the bigger Vitality Veil, the 40 cost augment. Oh, he switched up all of his Illugals to that side, which is pretty smart by him. Um, but, but by doing that, my my Sinov has a pretty good line on all of his stuff. Uh, as you can see, that Sinov actually took out everything there. So we did two matches. I <laughs> won the f uh, I lost the first one, won the second, um, and we we're pretty much at the same uh, elo as I started this video. So I think um, I would just call it a day and. Uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and if you like my video, please like and uh, subscribe for more. Um, I will definitely keep posting some more fights and yeah, see you then.